Today in this video we will learn how to create Azure RDP without credit card and that too absolutely free. In the previous video we had created Google's RDP using Colab and in today's video we will work on Azure. Watch this video till the end and if you follow all the steps without skipping the video then you too will be able to create RDP. If you like the video in the end, then share it with your friends and like the video. Which are my new viewer who haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Please subscribe the channel and also press the bell notification icon. So that you get the notification of such technical videos first. You can see that I have run an RDP. I will teach you how to create a similar RDP. We minimize it and start the video. Welcome back friends. First of all search Azure portal. Now we'll scroll down a bit. The link you are seeing is https.portal.azure.com. We will open it. Our Azure website has been opened. You are being asked to log in, but we will create a new account here. For that we will click on create one. We need an email ID to create an account. We will use fake email aid. There is a website, email-fake.com and you have to open this website. You can see that we have got the email aid generated. We will copy this email aid by clicking on the copy button. We go to Azure portal. Paste the copied email here. After that click on next button. In the next screen you have to set the password. Type whatever password you want to give. After that click on next. We are being asked for email verification. We'll go back to the website from where we copied the email. Click on the refresh button. We'll scroll down. Here we have received the email with the verification code. We'll copy this code from here. Go back to Azure portal. We'll paste this code. After that we will click on next. Now we are being asked to solve a puzzle. We'll click on next. Here we have to select that box from the given square boxes which have two identical objects. We are seeing two identical objects being shown in this box. We'll click on this box. We'll repeat in the same way once again. So the verification is done. Here you will click on, maybe later. After that we'll scroll. Then we'll go to the a virtual machine. Here you have to click on the virtual machine icon and hold it. Click on view. We'll click on create windows virtual machine in Azure inside the view. A new tab will open. Here the learn.microsoft.com website opened. Click on start button here. Here you will scroll. After that click on continue. Then scroll. Then we will click on continue. In the next screen we are shown sign in to activate sandbox. You click on this button. Here we will use the same email ID which we used for login. We'll go back to the website from where we copied the email. Click on the copy button. Sign tab which is a new tab that has opened, will go back there and paste it. After that you have to click on your next button. We don't need to provide the password. Here you will click on next. Then after this you assign any display name. We assigned the display name, Anita, here. After that I clicked on next. Then we will select our country. We have selected UK, United Kingdom. Then we will click on next. We have to tick the privacy sign up and content upgrade. After that you have to click on next. Now you are being asked about your role. So select any option. After that click on next. Here you click on beginner. Then in the same way we have selected the product Azure. Then click on next. We will have a pop-up show you're all set. After that you click on OK. So now our sandbox is getting created. Now we are being asked for a verified account. Then we have to click on verify. 
We are seeing two identical objects being shown in this box. We'll click on this box. Then we will click on View Permissions. Here we will click on Accept. Now we scroll down. We'll click on Continue. On the next page again click on Continue. 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 Here we are being asked questions. So you can select any option here. Then you can select any option to answer right or wrong. Still you try to give the correct answer. And then click on check your answer. So now we'll close it. Now we will go to the tab with the Zoom portal. After that we will reload this page. We will sign out Azure website and sign in again. Here you enter your password. Now we will click on virtual machine. After that we will click on the create button. Here you will select Azure virtual machine. Here we will click on the drop down button of resource group and choose available resource then give whatever name you want to the virtual machine select the location you want for your virtual machine now we will select the image type here we get images of linux and windows today in this video we will create rdp of windows 10 we will click on windows 10 pro edition From here you can select your RAM. So here if we want to see which RAM is available, then click on see all here. I have selected 8 GB RAM. After that I clicked on select. Then you have to give username and password here. I have given the username. Similarly, we will put a password here. You will use them for your RDP login. Then we will scroll down and do not change any other option. I will tick the confirm option and then click on review and create. Here the validation of our virtual machine will be done and when the validation is done, you will be shown the message of validation passed. After that you click on this create button. Now our deployment has started. You can see we are getting the message of initializing deployment. Here we are being shown the message of the deployment process. When our RDP is deployed, you will be shown the message of your deployment is complete. Now we will click on the go to resources button. Here we will click on the connect button. Inside connect we have to click on RDP. Now we will click on the download RDP file button. You can see on the right bottom corner that the RDP file is being downloaded. Now double click on this file to run RDP. Then click on connect. After clicking on connect you will be asked for username password. Enter the username and password here. After that you click on okay. Here you click on yes. So friends in this way our RDP will be created so you can see that very easy steps have been used if you people will watch this video carefully then you too can create RDP very easily in the same way absolutely free click on accept okay our RDP has been created many things can be done with the help of this RDP so friends comment and like video The new viewer please subscribe the channel and press the notification icon so that you will get the notification of such videos first. Thanks for watching and bye.